Hello Internet, Mike Bertolini here, and I'll be talking about creating a character for the tabletop role-playing game, Dune, Adventures in the Imperium by Modiphius. The game is based on the definitive sci-fi story Dune by Frank Herbert. This video concerns the primary long method of creating a playable character, or a PC, for Dune. Now before I get started, I want to quickly remind you to hit that subscribe button, click like, Leave a comment below. That, that's set. Let's get started. Now there are two methods of creating a PC. This is the longer and more involved method. I'll again be creating Sam Pell, but I highly recommend getting a copy of this game book because there are many options and the character creation method is very comprehensive. I'll be using the Roll20 sheet for this. As you can see, just by looking, there's the player sheet, the NPC sheet, and the house sheet, because you can make everything. So step one, character concept. I've already decided to create Sam Pell, a distinguished doctor. He's so distinguished that I'll be using the Suit Doctor template. While there are many doctors and healers across the universe, the Souk doctors are considered the best. While they cost a fortune, anything they cannot cure simply cannot be cured. They are also especially valuable to the no nobility as their conditioning means they cannot cause any harm to their patients. Souk doctors take the tr mandatory trait, Imperial Conditioning. Step two, choose an archetype. I decided that Sam is going to take the Scala archetype, as I feel that it fits best with his character. If I didn't think any of the archetypes fit my concept of Sam, I would speak with the GM about it and create my own inspired by similar archetypes. Knowledge is power, and a scholar is a seeker and curator of knowledge. Whether working independently or appointed as an expert advisor to a house, scholars collect, study, and archive information either about a single subject or a range of subjects, to inform and advise others effectively. Scholars may specialize deeply in a single field of study, or they may study a wide range of subjects. The primary skill of a scholar, understand. The second skill of a scholar is discipline. The talent of a scholar is intense study. The drives of a scholar. Scholars are frequently driven to pursue their studies because of a deep interest in uncovering the truth. Others see the value and potential power to be found with knowledge. Step three, skills. You can see here, there are five skills in Dune. Battle, communicate, discipline, move, and understand. Sam's primary skill, as already discussed, based on his archetype, is understand, while his secondary skill is discipline. The primary skill, understand in this instance, starts at six, while his secondary skill, discipline, starts out at five. The remaining three skills all start out at four, I'm then given five more points that I can put into any skill so long as no skill exceeds eight. I'm going to add two points to understand and one point in communicate, discipline, and move. Battle will remain at four because Sam doesn't think that he should need that skill for anything. Step four, focuses. Sam starts with four focuses, but two are already chosen based upon his archetype and must reflect the primary and secondary skills, but the other two can be chosen as desired. The scholar decides that the focuses should be data analyst and deductive reasoning, but Sam isn't required to take them, only that they be related to those skills. But to make things easy, I'm just gonna use those focuses. I have two more which can be unrelated to my skills, and for that I'm choosing emergency medicine and surgery. 
both closely associated with understand, but can be used with the other skills when appropriate. For example, emergency medicine might be usable in combat to know where an effective injury could be made against an opponent. Step five, talents. Players start with three talents, one of which is either suggested or made mandatory by the chosen archetype. Souk doctors, for example, have a mandatory talent, Imperial Conditioning. For additional talents, Sam will take Combat Medic and Passive Scrutiny. You should get a copy of the core book to learn more about these, as well as the dozens of additional talents that are available. Step six, Drives. Sam gets five drives and must rank them in importance, from most important to least important. The drives are duty, faith, justice, power, and truth. Sam would rank them truth, duty, justice, faith, and power, assigning eight to the highest and four to the lowest. Then Sam decides a drive statement that is appropriate to his choice. As you can see right here. Step seven, assets. This is a list of things that the character has at their disposal and the complete list is in chapter seven of the core book. I suggest picking it up as I don't intend to go shopping right now. At that point you just have some finishing touches. The basics are all done. All that's left is to round out the character. You pick one more trait, doesn't necessarily have to be true because this is how other people perceive the character. Decide on ambition. Use the highest rated drive and choose something for the GM to bring up often during the course of play. Truth and ambitions often include uncovering knowledge or revealing secrets, concealing knowledge or protecting secrets, spreading knowledge, or exposing the lies of others. Finally, name your character and give him or her a personality. You're all set. You're now ready to play Dune Adventures in the Imperium. I hope that you learned something from this video. Please remember to subscribe and ring that bell icon. Be notified when I release another video. It's quick and free for you. and helps this channel avoid the crushing methods of the YouTube algorithm. Leave a comment and let me know what you think. And if I should do more with Sam in this game or any of the games that I've covered so far. Thanks for watching and have a great day.